Welcome back. This is video number six. We're going to talk about the typical day. So in this video, you will look at the buyers that we previously look, looked at and gain insights into their typical day. Now, essentially what we're trying to do is we're trying to understand what is going on in their minds. The more you can understand their typical day, what happens when they wake up, what happens at lunchtime, when they go to work, maybe they're taking care of their babies, maybe they're doing errands and then they get home. What do they face during the day? In doing so, you're going to basically open up a realization of what their frustrations are, what their pain points are, what makes them happy, what makes them sad. And in order to do that, we need to better understand what their typical day looks like. Now, of course, a typical day for one person is going to be drastically different from another person. So the goal here is you don't necessarily have to get perfect. It's just to get a general view of a specific demographic, if that makes sense. So let's take a closer look and break things down. So I often find that the easiest way to find a typical day for a specific person, specific age, specific sex, a specific lifestyle is simply by going to google.com and typing in typical day for whatever you're looking for. So if we're looking for an elderly couple, we could say a typical day for an elderly couple. Sometimes you have right off the bat, people are talking about it, or you can just simply, in this case, it's since it's elderly couples, we could simply go to the websites where elderly couples hang out and see if we can find somebody maybe in a forum who is actually talking about their typical day. So if we scroll down here, it says what retirees do all day, right? You could even type that in what young married couples do all day or what fathers of big families do all day. So let's scroll up here. So opening up that, this one is how is the day-to-day -day life of an elderly couple in the Western hemisphere or what is a day like in the life of a really old person like 70 plus. So core.com is a really good place to find questions and answers. So you can go to core.com and let's just load one of these up. So it says, what is a day like in a life of a really old person? So we scroll down, it says, my dad is 92. He has outlived my, his wife who has died, blah, 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 blah. And what I recommend that you do is just read through this and try to get a better understanding of your audience. And not just read one or two or three, but try to read as many as you can, maybe from core.com. And then the next thing to do is go to actual forums and figure out what they are talking about. So that way you get it from the perspective of maybe their kids or somebody else's perspective, and then you get their perspective from themselves as well. So then you can kind of measure the two and compare the two and figure out what are similarities. So it says here, what do retirees do all day? It says they relax, they watch TV, they sleep, they do household chores, they eat and drink and work and shop and volunteer and so forth. Now, what I recommend that you do is you take a notepad and you just jot down what is actually happening. So when do they wake up? So what, when do they start their day? I want you to write it out hour by hour by hour, if possible, and say, okay, they maybe most of them wake up at 9 a.m. and then they greet the day and then they get ready by getting some breakfast and then maybe they go read a newspaper and then maybe some go do gardening or do do something like a hobby or, or something. Write down the hour by hour because believe it or not, that will actually help you understand what their frustrations are and how much time do they actually have during the day to take a survey and when and all that. So that's what I recommend that you do. Don't focus on this way too much. Just have fun, type in a typical day for blank or what do blank do all day and get an idea. Just jot it down and write it down. That will help you understand how to talk to them. You'll understand deeper their frustrations, what keeps them up at night, 
what makes them happy, what makes them sad, what are they spending their money on, and all of that. So with that said, let's move on to the next video.